Why Cats Vlogs here, try to do one take. This is for yesterday's Amazing Rays. For June 26, 2019. That came on right after Big Brother. We had four people that were on the team. Um, here's the whole cast. Um, I'm going to tell you who was on each. It was Amazon, or Amazon, I keep wanting to call them Amazing Race, Amazon, but Amazing Race versus Big Brother versus Survivor. So this was Amazing Race, Amazing Race, Survivor, Amazing Race, Survivor, Big Brother, Amazing Race, Big Brother, Big Brother, Survivor, and Amazing Race, but also YouTubers. And let's just say... I felt bad for this team because they didn't really get to race because he got a leg cramp and couldn't finish the challenge. Um, <clears throat> they were annoying on their season of Survivor, but to get but her, she was okay on the Amazing Race, but she was annoying as fuck. And even at the finale, she was, like, rolling her eyes. Like, she couldn't believe she has to be there to congratulate the teams when she's a loser. And she still hates Rachel for reasons that are stupid. Now, Rachel's annoying and everything. And at first, Rachel wasn't being annoying. And I was like, okay, I can deal with when Rachel's not annoying. But then, towards the end of first day... She got annoying, like always. She couldn't hold it in. And you're not. Janelle and Brittany, they they were annoying on Big Brother and they're annoying on the show. Rupert, I felt bad for him for being only in episode two. That kind of sucked. And it's kind of weird that the survivors, they can they can deal with being on the in the outdoors trying to get idols and do the challenges there, but they couldn't do Amazing Race. And the same with Big Brother, too. But yet they last. Semi-long. And I wouldn't have picked these people for the Amazing Race. Because they suck. I mean, Chris and Brett, I didn't really hate them. I just wasn't... I, they weren't my favorites. They were alright. And I didn't like how Phil was like... Oh, Rachel and Riley, Rachel and oh, wait, oh, Lisa, you guys are last in the race, but this is a non-elimination, you know, round, but you couldn't give it to Rupert, who deserves it more than they do, or they, you gave it to them as well, and those two were annoying as hell and cocky as fuck. They were at first, this is episode 11, the final, the winner, takes all, and they were stuck. They they were being cocky and, and everything, but them, them, and them were working together because they wanted it to be them three at the end, not with them. So they didn't help them at all. And they were being cocky. They were being really cocky with the and and being first place and everything and then it killed them in the last race when they got stuck in Michigan doing the vault thing and Michigan is Tyler and Corey's hometown and they were first but then the stupid drum thing had to be so perfect that it just screwed them up and that just killed them from winning it just it just sucked they should have won hands down she couldn't she couldn't even get the coding thing after Corey explained to her how the coding thing worked like like come on okay here's some pictures from episode 11 that I could get from fans now, any of you guys that are in, that watch The Amazing Race, 
who has the best Twitter or the best Facebook or the best website to get photos from each episode of Amazing Race. Like, like when you look up Survivor or Big Brother, you can find lots of pictures and things about them. Because I can't find shit about the Amazing Race. I can barely find things about the su- about Survivor. So if you have a good Survivor one, let me know. Because people were like... Because I tweeted this out on I Am Alien 88. And all you guys kept doing was was liking the post. Liking, I've said this in the past, liking my Twitter, or liking my Twitter post is not going to get people to see the post and want and, and and will answer if they know the answer. Nobody will know that you like to post. They only know if you retweet a post. Now, if you retweeted it because you didn't know the answer and you want someone else on your feeds that might know the answer to help, that's great. But when you like it, nobody's going to see it. Nobody's going to know. It, it doesn't say on the on people's feeds that that so-and-so liked so-and-so's po- t- uh, Twitter or tweet. No one, if it's, it doesn't say that in the feeds. It does not say, Phil liked I am alien, alien, I am alien, alien, tweet. No, it's not going to say that. It'll say that in your own notification feeds, but no one else can see that but you. These are the four teams that got to battle it out yesterday on the show. And I'm glad Corny, because doesn't second play, because I'm not an, I'm not an Amazing Race fan, fanatic, I watch every episode, know everything about it, blah, blah, blah. I only watch it when somebody I know or like is on the show. And I thought this season should have been Tyler Oakley and Corey versus Joey Casefa and Megan. They're best friends, and I think it'd be funny to see what they would do on the show together. But that's just my opinion. Also, I think it's, I just think they should have won, it's, but doesn't, but my, oh, my question, sorry, my question is, doesn't first, or doesn't second place get some money, and third place doesn't get anything, and I kind of wish that at the end, since Jamal and them was so behind, those guys was the cocky guys were so behind that they would have said underneath a little message like how long it took them to do each challenge because they only showed us just a little bit of them doing the challenge and um, on Twitter on the Amazing Race CBS Twitter they said that the stupid Team Fun when I call them Team Disappointment was supposed to be on the, was supposed to do, they, they said, stay tuned, because they're going to give you the, an epic new rap for you guys, but I never heard the rap on the show, never, so explain that to me, here's some other pictures from the show, um, the rowing thing, they got to either pick rowing, or get in a cab and remember directions. And you have to remember 22 different directions. Everyone thought, oh, let's do the rowing. That'd be easy. We'll win. Blah, blah, blah. And let's just say they sucked. They got drowned in the water, gave up, and decided to go do the other thing, which was 10 times easier for them, even though. It kind of wasn't, but for them, it kind of was. Especially for Koi and Tyler, because they got it in two tries. And got first place when they did that. And I thought Colin and and her kind of cheated a little bit, because they both were supposed to row. But instead, she's like, let me just hold the boat up and let you do all the work. 
I just thought that was fucking stupid and fucking rude, and I wish the rowing people would be like, no, you both have to be rowing. Because then they probably wouldn't want. Then, I thought it was really funny when the cocky guys, you know, Jamal and them, were like, well, first, we're here. And then Phil gives them another clue and say, nope, you gotta go pick up some items for me, then come back. And then it's like, ha ha ha. That's what you get being cocky. And it was funny how Corey and Tyler kept helping Colin and them find stuff. It's like, don't help them. You don't want good people at the end. You want shitty people at the end so that you win. If you had Nick Cole and Victor at the end, you guys probably would have won. But that's just my opinion on the whole situation. This is when they were walking down the building. And they had to remember his numbers in the windows. At first, when I saw the 7 upside down, I thought, no, 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 that's 70. But then I thought, but then I was wrong, so. Yeah. I'm just glad that Jamal and them didn't win because they were just two cocky people. And those are some of the items they needed to get for this mannequin so that they could win the race or whatever. Win that leg of the race, I guess you should say. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, these are just pictures I found from a couple of people. I even did the hashtag, the amazing race, amazing race, uh, amazing race 31, TAR 31, and nothing. It's like, do these people not have that many fans that they could have for the show, you know, that do pictures and stuff on Twitter like Big Brother does and Survivor, like, come on. I mean, Survivor has more than, and then they had to make a record, and they would, and Tyler would have gotten number one if it wasn't for them fucking up on the making of the, of the records, but they were just being too precise. Oh, this is bleeding through, so what? That's gonna happen. Like, get over yourself. That's just my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. I just don't agree that they should have won. I'm sorry. I just don't like that Corey and Tyler couldn't win again. It's just not fair. Then again, life's not fair. Anyways, I'm going to get going. That's my take of the end of The Amazing Race. I won't see you probably on the next one, unless it's somebody I know. So, I just hope someone can help me out with the whole picture thing, because I really could use help on getting pictures and stuff of The Amazing Race. That would be great for each episode, if you know a place to get that, like, like you do with Big Brother. And I have more of survivors that give out pictures pictures of each episode than on The Amazing News, but I would like help on Survivor as well. Big Brother has a big fan base that's so easy to get stuff from them, but not Survivor fans and, of course. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Later, hater.